take this one. Have you seen the Barcuzzi? I'll let you take it. Have you seen the Barcuzzi? Seen that. That. We'll, take, we'll take this one. I'll say, what, what do you think for Sars? I think it's very unlucky with that. Soft for me. Very, very soft. First, uh, not two footed. It's a 50 50 ball, maybe a 60 40 ball um, to his disadvantage. You, you, look at it, you look at it first time, you think that's a red card because the, the Stoke player gets the ball first and then he goes in with his two feet. But when you look at it back, he slips when he's running for the ball and it makes it look like a two foot challenge. And it's I've, so watched, I've watched that tackle back probably about six times in the last 24 hours, let alone for the fact that bearing in mind today is Monday, um, the game happened over a day ago. On the day, I watched it a good few times over and over. Baffled as someone who, for me, uh, when I played on a defender, I looked at that and was like, how on earth is that a red card? You've seen them given. I get why the referee might have given it. I think it's harsh, and I imagine Preston will appeal that um, and likely could get, um, get him back. That killed, that killed the game for Preston. Preston were all over Stoke in those uh, opening. I had some very, very good chances. Very good chances. chances. But just to talk about Stoke in this game, their goal was very good. Obi's, Obi's pass went right round the front of the defence. And then for Gregory, another uh, top championship striker, especially when he was at Millwall, uh, just had to tap at home. And I thought, I thought that was very good play from Stoke, but Preston will feel very hard done by that game because that's a game that they should have got points from. And right. maybe would have if they didn't get the